sadly, we didn't get uh, the Prime Icon Memories Packs we were expecting today. But we got a brand new leak, I guess. EA kind of leak for the pre-season promo starting in four days and 23 hours. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. So this is the new loading screen and it legitimately is white borders as well. Like this is, this is not any different this is really is white borders i can actually move this so it's more central so you guys see it a little bit better uh it really is white bordered around as well it makes no sense but to me it looks a little bit like what they're going for here with with the fifa 21 covers and stuff um you know pictures on top of pictures you see it's like there's a picture behind a picture behind it's just pictures on top of pictures um the the font for example down here the foot font uh in this in this bottom right corner i think matches the font of the fifa 21 it's like the new the new font they're going for. It's no longer Din Pro, but it's a different font. Um, so I can only assume it's I it could be something to do with FIFA 21. It could be something to do with FIFA 20. Um, obviously, we stream every day. So chat seems to think it's to do with UCL, as UCL is about to start up soon as well. So it could be like a pro a prologue to uh, UCL, to which we've seen, for example, the UCL live items like Kante, Paolo Dybala. Um you know, you never know. We could see big boosts with UCL cards. Um, we could see, for example, the players that are still in Champions League. Because theoretically, without, you know, football stopping, um, we would have seen this card be, if if Barcelona were to win the Champions League, for example, it would have been like 93, 94 rated, right? And that would have competed with Team of the Season items. However, these cards now don't compete with Team of the Season items. You know, we've got a live card here for 25,000 coins. So we might see a big boost to the live items to make them compete with team of season items so that it encourages more people to maybe invest in them, to buy them, to use them. Uh, and then with UCL, a Goretzka, if it's boosted to say 90 rated now, if Bayern go on to win the UCL, he gets boosted to a 95, 96 card kind of thing. I can see EA doing something along those lines uh, because I think they want to do a lot with UCL this year. They've obviously got the licensing rights, the, the rights to UCL in general. And unfortunately, football stopping has meant that they can't really utilize the UCL promos anymore. Um, they can't really utilize uh, anything realistically in terms of Champions League because it's just not on. Uh, so I'd imagine that they probably want to utilize all the money they've spent on the UCL. Now, a lot of people seem to think it might be something to do with transfers, you know, pre-seasons and the, the next season. Obviously, the season's ending on Sunday for the Premier League. So it might be the Premier League next season. That could also be the case. We've seen, obviously, a transferred Werner, uh, a transferred Ziyech as well, uh, who's gone to Chelsea. Um, he got a Chelsea card recently as well. So that could also be a possibility. We could see transferred uh, cards have some kind of pre-season promo, although I don't think it's necessarily that plausible because there hasn't been that many transfers so far there's only been a few agreed deals that have got transfer cards this year so that to me doesn't seem like it'd be the most plausible of of possibilities i think it'd be something to do with ucl lives that that or uel lives as well obviously because you know europa league is also happening that would be my guess um we have had leaks as well for example we've had a prime icon moments sbc leak which I could show you guys as well. Um, Footwatch, if you guys don't know who Footwatch is, he he basically announces all the new stuff in the game. He announced uh, this in the code, which is a Prime or Prime Moments icon player. Uh, contains one Prime or Prime Moments icon player, and it's just a pack. So we could probably get an SBC that gets a Prime or Prime Moments icon coming with this new promo in four days. Uh, I think that the new upgrades like the 82 to 88s and the 81 pluses have just run out. So we might see the 85 to 92s return um, as well. So I guess we'll see with EA. But we have a lot of, of opportunity here and a lot of potential for a lot of players to get big upgrades. You know, this <laughs> this this monstrosity might... Uh, we might see it return. Martial, for example, if Man United go far. This is only 36k, man. This just it isn't what EA wanted to do, realistically. Another possibility that could be this well, this promo could be sorry is like rookie premiere in madden ultimate team so in madden ultimate team there is solo challenges with a grindable player they say there's 99 overall rookies i have no idea what this means by the way i don't play madden i don't watch nfl so I, you know but i kind of get the concept you have a chance to pick up the rookie premier cards that roll into madden 21 now that would make a lot of sense considering for example the new loading screen is very FIFA 21 vibes-ish. 
we this could be something to do with picking up cards or grinding cards that you can carry over in fifa 21 now obviously we know that with fifa 21 they brought in this one club feature um and that in itself means that you have one club across different consoles that would make it a lot easier to have one club across different games as well so that definitely would make sense uh you know we're seeing as you can see the killing mbappe kind of text down here looks very similar to the text in the bottom right um it definitely looks very fifa 21-esque and it wouldn't surprise me the only thing that i i think is that obviously we can see the paint splashes very similar to summer heat so there could be some summer heat thrown in there some summer heat action um as well as maybe like like a a, a madden-esque thing um but like hey if there's somewhere to grind for fifa 21 already to get people in the mood and get people playing for fifa 21 that is a really good idea that would work really well i think that'd be fantastic um however i think that they've got to include some kind of fifa 20 incentive like like primark and moments packs and, and upgrade packs to make people continue enjoying fifa 20 as well that would make a lot of sense now this was also added into the code um i don't we don't know what this is it just says global league full 2020 league 330 liga i or liga one i don't know super liga argentina de football liga one saf now this could be new spcs this could be the renaming of leagues if they're named incorrectly on fifa this could be fifa 21 new leagues this could you know we don't actually know uh what this is um but i think like this could be like renaming it could be anything to be honest um but like i said the the, the focal point for me is the prime icon or prime icon moments pack um that i think we'll get come wednesday when the new promo drops i wanted to end off the video by uh showcasing this something i'm very excited about um is Cantona uh being put into fifa this is a card i've been asking to get into fifa for a while obviously we've just seen the brand new moments uh icon design as well i'm assuming moments icon i'd be surprised if it's not moments icon it's got the color scheme of a moments icon but um yeah we've got the 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 new icon design or at least the the short card version of it um released today as well with with Cantona, which i'm very excited about uh obviously being a main united fan he's a massive main united legend so i'm excited to see him um you know we're seeing people predict uh what they think will be i think that's a bit low to be honest um i actually personally didn't watch Cantona. i'm too young but i have my dad's spoken highly of him so many occasions says that he literally changed uh he literally changed my united as a club so i'd assume he'd be higher than that um but yeah we obviously got this release today which is exciting news as well uh given the fact that they released a brand new trailer yesterday uh given the fact that they've released a bunch of stuff recently i would say that you know we would possibly see uh, a lot of fifa 20 news and maybe this promo is is linked into fifa 20 to be honest uh given the amount of information that we've had so far um but i'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below what you think uh this new promo would be and what you guys are are you know hoping for uh do you think we'll get uh, a prime icon moments pack do you think it'll be an objective do you think it'll be uh, an spc uh do you think that we'll get a grindable player for fifa 21 because that'll be exciting as well or do you think it'll be ucl based transfer based let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and lastly the actual content for today within fifa we got a brand new 93 summer heat nelson Semedo. uh that's really easy to grind just four objectives uh easy five rival wins and then it's just goals and assists uh pretty easy there um and we actually got a new spc uh in musa Sizoko. We've got a 94 rated Summer Heat card here as well. Four star week for three star skills. High, high. Very nice card indeed. Four two squads. It's an 85 rated squad and an 86 rated squad. Fairly cheap if you ask me. Um, it's a very decent squad. So that is it for the FIFA content. We didn't get any promo packs, uh, which I'm very surprised about. Um, but then again, given the fact that there's no promos today, I'm, you know, no promo packs, even with the A standards, you know, fair enough um and the only thing special card related that we've got in packs right now is the team of the week you know all special cards are now out of packs whether they'll return or not i'm not sure but i guess we'll see ea will have something up their sleeve and i think it'll actually be a pretty decent uh promo i'm looking forward to it and i hope that it's got some kind of inkling towards fever 21 that's gonna be exciting but yeah this is pretty much all we've got in packs right now and that's pretty much all we had content wise for fifa uh for fifa 20 today so uh yeah sadly a bit of a slow day but i thought i'd address it anyway and talk about it let me know what you think is going to be down below uh let me know your thoughts and opinions and i'll see you later